So it's been about seven days now since we inoculated these various grains with our Piapino liquid culture. I wanted to show you guys the updates after one week and I'm actually going to shake all of these grains so that they will be available for my production cycle next week. So the thought process behind shaking the grain is that all of these inoculation points, which are currently um, colonized by the mycelium, will shake all over the jar and then that will allow for the mycelium to jump in more three-dimensional directions. Um, some of these grains are completely surrounded by mycelium, so if you shake it up and then put those grains into an area that's surrounded by grains, they'll be able to utilize their energy to colonize faster. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to go through and kind of observe the results. So this is the millet, um, very healthy growth so far. You can see that there's a, a clear defined area where the injection port is and then where I inoculated that liquid culture. And it's expanding down below probably, you know, the full region of the jar and the full length of the jar. So this is the popcorn. You can see it colonized the bottom of the jar pretty quickly and I, I have a feeling it's because the liquid on the outside of the corn kind of went towards the bottom and allowed that mycelium to quickly grow. So my first observation is that the corn is pretty dry near the top and then the bottom has a lot of moisture and I think that once we mix this jar it will kind of homogenize that whole blend and this one's going to colonize really nicely. Okay so now we're going to go on to oats and it's very similar to the millet in the fact that it's covering about the length of the bottom of the jar and there's a straight line right below the injection port. So it seems to be pretty on par with the millet, um, but as we move on to the wheat grain, this one is very impressive. It looks like it has a wider um, distribution, so maybe it can, I think that the wheats are holding the most water. You can see the bottom of the jar is really nice and healthy. There's not too much standing water, which is nice because if, if there was any kind of bacterial contaminant, and there is a lot of standing water like in the popcorn, it could easily spread throughout the whole jar. Um, but this one is pretty nice on the bottom. Overall, I think that wheat looks the healthiest right now compared to rye, which is very similar. But this is kind of right in between oats and wheat. Um, it, it hydrated really nicely but I feel like the wheat just holds a little bit more water and it's doing a little bit better. So now that we've gone through our observations, I'm going to shake up these jars and then I'll put them back into incubation for about five or six more days before we move into um, bulk substrate. Okay, so I'm just gonna shake these up. Um, one tip is that you can use a tire or something um, if you're concerned about breaking the, the jar, what I do is I'll just look for some cracks and honestly, I'm not even shaking them that hard. Um, I don't normally do this, usually just for breeding projects and if I was making a master jar that would be used to inoculate larger grain spawn bags, I would um, shake it to speed it for colonization. However, there's another technique um, for shaking jars or another reason, maybe you want to slow down your spawn so that it doesn't um, begin to fruit prematurely. And um, I actually had to do that this week for some of our breeding projects. So I'm shaking them up on a Thursday so that by next Tuesday, they'll be ready for um, production. Okay, so this is the wheat and you can see how nicely these are moving around. I don't even really have to shake this one, but I'm just trying to evenly distribute 
all of those grains in the jar and that way you are maximizing the surface area of the mycelium because some of those grains that are completely surrounded by the mycelium are now going to be completely surrounded by new grains so that they can expand and move on and the popcorn seems to be mixing up really nicely and now for the millet which is really kind of clumped together but I have a feeling that with the amount of inoculation points this one is going to make some really nice spawn for the bulk substrate okay guys so that was my mixing day it's Thursday I should be able to put these into um, our bulk production by early next week much love